Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> Feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Hey, don't look so worried. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. 
Oh boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look. For all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <sighs> We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. An opening might be a way in. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hi. 
You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Hey. Hey, back. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. Hey, guys. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. OK, so this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Need look no further. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon to be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid.
Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan shipshape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. It doesn't mix well with high seas. That's how accidents happen. Roger that. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight, and I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble.
Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it.
You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. God. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. He's holding something. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? <clears throat> ah, cheap piece of shit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharp, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh, I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come out guys, the gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Alex, 
Wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys! Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well.